Hello everyone, it's me, Travis, of Giggles and Bits. I should probably cut that intro out and do a different one. Anyways, let's talk about uh, this little ditty. William Shatner Blast, recent Star Trek TV series, says creator Gene Roddenberry would be turning in his grave at some of this stuff. So according to Star Trek icon William Shatner, the recent slate of Star Trek offerings produced by Paramount are so abysmal that not only do they strongly pale in comparison to the original series, that's true, but also feature some stories and direction that would have original franchise creator Gene Roddenberry turning in his grave. Shatner opined on the present state of Star Trek during an hour-long panel centered on his life held as part of San Diego Comic-Con 2022 festivities, aptly titled Shatner on Shatner. Only I can properly dictate how my life has been affected. The actor eventually broached the topic Star Trek, uh, of Star Trek after a fan playfully asked if he had a message for fans of Star Wars whose favored franchise has been presented as a diametric rival to his own. He said, fuck Star Wars, but not Mark Hamill, he replied, prompting Smith to affirm we love Mark Hamill. Having been led to the subject of Star Trek, Shatner was then asked if he thought any of the franchise's recent television endeavors, such as Discovery, Picard, or and Strange New Worlds, held a candle to his own, to which he declared, none of them. True. None of those do. I, I heard Strange New Worlds started off really strong, but by the final episode that is out, a lot of that sentiment turned. So I'm glad I skipped that. I couldn't get through Picard Season 1, didn't bother with Season 2, tried getting into Discovery, I, I really, really tried, like I gave that two seasons worth of viewing, and eventually I was just like, I have no fucking clue what's going on here, but this doesn't feel like Star Trek. There's Star Trek things in it, but it's the show itself doesn't feel like Star Trek, it doesn't play off that way. And honestly, like aside from the love story between the Doctor and the Engineer, I really didn't give a shit about the series. I just no, no emotional investment whatsoever in any of it. It was honestly the best thing of the show. It's like I got to know Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry in the three years fairly well. He recalled, harkening back to his time on the set of the original series, he'd be turning in his grave at some of this stuff. Though Shatner has more than his fair share of issues with the franchise's recent television outings, the actor previously expressed interest in returning in to the role of Kirk in J.J. Abrams' fourth cinematic entry into his Kelvin timeline. So I read this article, <clears throat> and I bring it up because of this article from Heavy. The goal of this article is to talk about a petition that aims to replace Alex Kurtzman with Seth MacFarlane as executive producer of all things. Star Trek. So what they talk about here is that when somebody online asks which of the new series are good as far as Star Trek goes, fans of the original series or Generations or like the stuff before Kurtzman uh, often say to not bother with the new Trek stuff and just to watch Orville instead because they feel that Orville is, is the only true spiritual successor to the Star Trek that we fans grew up, grew up and, and enjoyed watching. So an excellent example of this attitude was a recent post on Heavy on Star Trek Facebook page where one fan said of Star Trek Discovery and Kurtzman, the concept of jumping to the 32nd century is a great idea, but executed by the worst group of writers ever brought together. It's an absolute dumpster fire. With good writers, Kurtzman gone, and post Burnham being shot into space, this show could be redeemed. So basically, they just want to scrap the show. Fans like this have taken it upon themselves to try and changing the franchise's direction by creating petitions. One petition in particular aims to replace Kurtzman with McFarlane. The petition says Alex Kurtzman has little respect for the wealth of information and progress that the Star Trek universe has built up over more than 50 years. He repeatedly ignores what the fans want to see for Star Trek. Seth McFarlane, on the other hand, is a lifelong trekker who has shown that he can create a compelling story that respectfully and meaningfully looks at some of the problems ailing our modern world. His work on the Ordville is a testament to his creative genius and respect for fans. It's really sad. New Trek 
had the potential to bring the ideals of the meritocracy. And as, if you watch Heels vs. Babyface, um, the meritocracy system that is in Star Trek, the whether it be the original series, Generations, even uh, uh, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, the, the world that's there was still able to tackle modern era issues, but it never did that at the expense of telling a good story. If they couldn't tell a good story, then it wasn't going to happen. The things that I miss about Star Trek is these character stories, these ideals that you just don't get from new Star Trek. It's just the characters are uh, pompous. They think they know better than anybody else. They don't take the advice of others. There's no discussion. There's no real character development because by the time we meet the characters, the characters are already the best that they're ever going to be. The only reason why they're not the captain or they're not this and that is because there's somebody holding them back. And that shit just gets tired. And that's where we turn off because it's not compelling storytelling. It's not good in any way, shape, or form. It's actually pretty juvenile and overly simplistic. You don't want, like, you're incapable of telling the story of how a character gets from A to B becomes the person they are. You want them to be the person that they are, and you just want them fighting to be accepted. And uh, it's just not how the world works. You have to work your way up. You don't just go out into the world and start making a million bucks. I mean, some people do. Some people are lucky like that. But you, the rest of us have to bust our ass day in and day out to become who we hope to be. And it's a long, long road. If showrunners like Alex Kurtzman or anybody else don't understand that, then yes, we do need to remove them. We need to replace them. Anyways, uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you. And uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe if you're not. I got a lot of subscribers over the past week, and that was uh, that was a good that was a good it was a really good week. It was a really good week. I I I I've been enjoying some of the growth that I've been seeing. It's a little bit. It's a little tiny. It's like. It's like peach fuzz. It's like I'm a teenager, and all of a sudden I noticed I have like three like dark hairs on the bottom of my chin, and I'd give anything to have just those three little dark hairs as opposed to all of this gray. But um, like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of William Shatner's uh, comments about Kurtzman, and what you think of this petition to get Seth MacFarlane to replace Alex Kurtzman. I thought that I thought that was really funny. I don't think that's going to happen, and I don't necessarily know if that would be a good thing. But one of the things they do touch on in this article is how uh, Seth MacFarlane tries to make a show that everyone can watch and enjoy, not just a specific segment. Anyways, that's all I got for that. Adios.